Harry H. Harrison Jr. is a parenting specialist and author of several best-selling parenting books, including Father to Son and Father to Daughter. Uh, the topic this morning is sexting. And I don't know if you're aware of what's going on out there, and it's not just uh, high school kids. It's anybody, but I, I really would dare say it's 30 and below. Would you Would you agree oh, with that? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The sending of genitalia Ugh. through text message or Snapchat is, it's crazy right now. Yeah. I want to say it's it's all the rage. Everybody's doing it. Not everyone. Uh, Harry, good morning. Um, <laughs> it, it is crazy, though. I, I'm I, I can't believe it. It is prevalent in society, especially if you're. Well, I want to say if you're under seventeen, but I think all of society is kind of jumping on it. Yeah, but it's really prevalent among our teenagers and our young teenagers, which is the disturbing thing. It's the new. Hey, how you doing? I hate to say, I but know, the, all of a sudden they're like, you know, I, I know we just met, but I know we snap. just met, but here's a picture of my uh, my penitalia. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? So, but you know, it used to be where a boy would send a girl a love letter, and, <laughs> right, you know, right. But, but now, <laughs> oh, now they're we uh, intimate photographs. Kids will be kids; they're just flirting. Okay, but you know, I have to say, if you have a a daughter who's uh, under the age of 17, there's a good chance that she's getting routinely hammered to send photos of herself. Is that right? This is what's happening. Yeah. And as a parent of a daughter, Me too. my responsibility is, is, to have, is to have my daughter internalize the knowledge that her body is not the object of a sexual desire. Yep, I agree. And if she internalizes that, then she, can, she has the power to say no. A boy's going to ask. Yep. And she can say no, no. This is not happening. Yeah. And the boy can put pressure on her. They can do all these things. But the girl feels secure enough in her skin. And that's what a parent should do. Just make sure that girl feels secure enough in her skin to say no. It's not happening. Right, right. Uh, the problem that uh, the problem with, with these things is when you send the picture to the boy who you think is your boyfriend, who in another month and a half won't be your boyfriend anymore, mm -hmm. he's certainly not saving that photo or not uh, getting rid of that photo. It'll be all over the school by the time you're said and done. Well, it'll be all over the school. It'll be all over the city. It'll be yeah. all over the country. It's going to be all over the world. Yeah, you don't know where and, it could go. you know, photographs do not die on the Internet. Right. They, they hang around. But... To use that as kind of a, a you know, as a warning to a teenage girl, that's not going to work. Right, right. It's not going to work on the boy or the girl. They're, they're, they got cabbages for brains. Yep, I know. They don't have, <laughs> the fact that you, you, can't, you, you can't argue, you know, with a head of cabbage. You can't argue with a teenage brain. So right. the only thing you can do is try and infuse, like I said, it, within the girl, the knowledge that uh, her body is her own yep. and, not, and not, a, a, not a boy's. And it's... And parents of boys need to step up yep. and find out what their sons are doing and, and teach, their, teach their young men to be honorable and to, to be respectful of women and not to, to coerce them into, into nude photographs. Boy, we just didn't, um, we didn't have, the, when I was in school, we didn't have this to even worry about. I mean, you'd have to you have actually a, develop it over at uh, the drugstore. I mean, <laughs> right? You didn't have a smartphone. You didn't the have the smartphone. It changed yeah, everything. It really yeah. has. You, so um, uh, uh, there's also a legality issue. Um, if your 12-year-old daughter has just sent a photo uh, and a boy now has it and he's 15 years old or she's 13, it doesn't even matter. If the girl's underage, there's a, or the boy, there's a real, a, a real potential legal issue here as well, right? Absolutely. Sending, sending nude photographs of minors is against so many laws. Yeah. yeah. But, again... That's not going to restrain the teenage brain. I know you're right. You know, it's, you can you can argue you know about how illegal this is, but that's not going to stop them. If, right, a, if right. a girl gets a message from a boy that hey, I think I like, you, I need to see your breasts. Uh, if she likes that boy, unless her parents have done a great job of saying your body is your own and right. not a, and not right. a young man, then she's sending that photograph. Uh, and uh, you're—I mean, ultimately, I, I believe you're—you're you're right um, because you're never going to be able to keep track of every single thing your kid does. So you hope that you instill to them the values that would prevent them from doing something like this. Absolutely. Yeah. That's exactly what yeah. you want to do. I mean, you want to be able to to 
people, parents say, well, I trust my kids, even though I haven't you know, talked to them at, over dinner in, in yeah. two years. Yeah. <laughs> this is where parents are the big bucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, keeping and, their kids honor. So there's a thing called uh, it's Snapchat. And is this the one? Is Snapchat the one that it goes away after yeah. how many seconds? After you view it. You can after set you it. view it. Yeah, you can set you it can on screenshot, okay. but then somebody will be aware of the fact that you screenshot. If you screenshot, you... I'm, and so maybe it's just because I'm a. a I'm a natural deviant. I'm going to come up with some way to 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 beat up every any possible restriction. So, Harry, here's what they'll tell you. So, I'm speaking to someone who has just sent photos of herself, and this is a 25 year old. Just sent photos of herself to a potential boyfriend, and said, "Well, I don't worry about it because the photo automatically disappears." in so many minutes right and if they were to take a screenshot of it i would be alerted and i would know they took that screenshot. which also too even then what is that gonna do i know you're right yeah. oh like, <laughs> bad, Did argument, you screenshot that? bad <laughs> argument to, to begin with but here's what i said okay uh i don't know about you but uh, most people have access to another phone all you got to do is take your second cell phone and take a picture of that picture and you've got it forever Th- and, the, is, and the and the and the end the user on the other end will not know. Right. So you you are correct on that, and and I'm not saying that this hasn't happened or never happened or couldn't happen. But typically, if you're if you're using Snapchat and you're in a like Andrew and I will send each other snaps. Obviously, nothing. They're to not nude. Right. I, well, I, okay. I guess what I'm what I'm, <laughs> no, what, no. I'm what, I, what I'm getting at is if you socially use it, you have no idea. Like someone sends you a snap, and you're like, oh, what did uh, what did so and so say? Yeah. And you open it, and it might be you know. Um, so someone might put on there for three seconds. It's their their picture. So you have you just open up and you're like, oh my goodness, and then oh, and then, and then it's it gone. Disappear. Okay. So the idea that. of getting a well, secondary phone afterwards, well, you can replay it. The right. sender can also uh, block. Harry, um, this is not just kids, but they're the ones we're worried about. There are plenty of adults doing this as uh, as well, and you just got to be careful. Um, we all have to be careful. But your advice here today would be. To sit and talk with your kids, especially bo- boys, but also with your your daughters, especially daughters. Yeah, and 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 still, like I said, instilling them the knowledge that their body is not the object of a sexual desire, that it's their body, and they can say no. Yeah, and even if somebody purchases them, they can still say no, and that's what's not happening right now. Girls do not feel like they can say no, and it's up to the parents to instill that knowledge in the girls. Yep. And I got to tell you, the guys that are sending pictures of themselves, I don't know about you, Harry, but um, I have never had any desire to send pictures of myself. Mm-mm. I just don't think I'm that uh, worthy of a photo, uh, to be honest. So. <laughs> Hasn't occurred to me. <laughs> uh, actually, people have, people have proactively said, please do not ever send yeah, me don't anything. don't ever send me that. Uh, Harry H. Right. Harrison, Jr., parenting specialist and is the author of the best, uh, several best-selling parenting books, uh, one in particular that you might want to look for is called Father to Son and Father to Daughter. Harry, thanks for coming on and, uh, and educating us here this morning. Thank you, guys. Right. Good morning. Have a great day.